Hi, good morning. Happy Thursday. 31 feels like 23. What? How can it feel eight degrees colder than it actually is? But I am bundled up like the kid on the Christmas story. Not really. I mean, I just have on a coat and a scarf and a hat and gloves. But I tell you what, when I leave for work, I probably won't have any of this on. <laughs> I just dress like this to walk Penny. Because it gets kind of cold standing out here waiting on her to decide where the perfect spot will be. You know what I mean? Like, why do you have to search so far? If I was a dog and it was this cold, I believe I'd go in the backyard and come back in and be done with it. But, no. Mm -mm, she spoiled. I wonder who did that. Hmm. I don't know. So, last night, I got an Amazon delivery. I know that's shocking, isn't it? And it was a that's, this is not part of the story, but it was a tinted green concealer that is supposed to cover red. So I put it on my scar and I put it right there because that right there is, it's just kind of red. It's been there all my life. And when I cry or get mad, it gets redder. What is that? What is that all about? Anyway. <laughs> So when I came out to pick up the package, I saw Joan. Now, last week, cool. last week, Joan, I think it was over the weekend. I don't know. Oh no, I think it was Friday because she said, when's the last time you had Chick-fil-A? And I said, yesterday. <laughs> Cause I was at the office on Thursday and if I'm by myself, I usually just go to Chick-fil-A. She said, well, Maybe next week on your off day, we can have chicken for dinner and I'll buy. I think because I helped her with Rosemary a couple of times last week. I don't know why she feels like she has to repay me, but I just say thank you, you know? So I come out on the front porch and I see Joan walking back up her driveway with her long lanky legs. <laughs> she still walks kind of like a model. She takes them high steps and she walks slow. Anyway, I wish you could see my feet the way I'm trying to do it. I said, I, I, I can't do it properly because there's a man out here. So let me wait because I want to do it like I did it last night. What? So I'll be back. Just give me a minute, okay? Dumb gloves. Okay, let's drive to work. This is a, it's like a shawl scarf thing, but my sister got it for me, but it has pockets. So it'll be perfect when I'm at work and if I get cold, because I can kind of cover, you know, cover them shoulders and cover your neck. And if I get hot, I can just take it off because I really hate coats. I really do and I don't like scarves up around my neck I don't like turtlenecks yeah but again when you're when you're just standing out there looking for the perfect spot it, it gets a little chilly hmm mm, and not the good kind of chilly with meat and beans okay back to my story so I see Joan lankying is that a word lankying that's how she walks she's lanky She's long and lean, and she's got long legs, and she walks real slow, and she high steps. Anyway, and I'm bending over, picking up my package, and I saw her, and I said, Hey, you want some chicken? <laughs> and she said, Huh? <laughs> I said, You want some chicken? <laughs> she said, Oh, yeah. <laughs> She said, come here, come get the card. Well, I'm just in a t-shirt because I hadn't planned on really going outside, you know. So I go out there and she was bundled, bundled from head to toe just to walk to the mailbox. And she said, aren't you cold? I said, well, I mean a little, but I, 
hadn't planned on really coming out and outside. I was just gonna grab something and I said, whatever, anyway. So she said, well, come in and I'll get the card because it's my turn to pay. I said, okay. So anyway, I go in and she's getting her card and telling me what she wants. <laughs> Do they have nuggets? I said, yeah, that's, yeah. They definitely have nuggets because that's what I always get is the nuggets. Meanwhile, she says, did I tell you about that chocolate stuff I make? Uh, no ma'am, you did not tell me about any chocolate you make. She said, I take Hershey's cocoa. Yes, carry on. And I mix it with marshmallow fluff. Yes. And then I mix Cool Whip, Cool Whip with it. And I was like, okay. She said, I stir it all up and I put it in a container and I leave it in the fridge. I said, okay. And she said, sometimes I just go take a bite of it, you know. She said, but mostly what I do is I'll make a cup of hot chocolate and then I'll take a scoop of that and put it in my hot chocolate. <laughs> it's hard to, for me to find dairy-free hot chocolate that's good. But I'm gonna have to try that because I can find dairy-free Cool Whip and it actually tastes just like Cool Whip. It's made from coconut. Coconuts. Put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. Why do I do things like this? Why do I break into a song with everything? <sighs> but I was like, well, that sounds delightful. Now, let me go get us some dinner. Because she said, um, what time are you going to go get it? And I was like, well, it's 3.45. I said, well, maybe quarter to five-ish. Because she she eats at five. Because she usually goes, I mean, she, that house is dark at 7.30. She goes to bed early. Her and Rosemary uh, are out. By, well, I don't know if Rosemary is, but she puts her in her crate. And they are out by... 7.30, 8 o'clock, most every night. I was like, well, I guess I'll be eating real early tonight. I put Penny in the car. We left about 4.30 and went over there and got dinner and brought it back. I dropped off her bag with her card and then I went on to my house and we each eat at our own place. She doesn't really care if I come in or not. She just wants me to go get it. <laughs> which I'm okay with. So then a friend of mine calls and we're just chatting and she mentions the word sleet. I was like, sleet? Um, here? What? So th I then texted my boss, Tommy, because Tommy watches the weather. Like, she is the weather person. My sister also is one of those people that watches the weather. She used to, well, I mean, they do work at a marina, but, you know, so weather is important. But that's all she would have on in her office all day, every day was the weather. <laughs> so they always know what's going on with the weathers. So I texted Tommy and I said, is it supposed to sleet tonight or snow or freeze or anything like that? Because my work bucket is at work. Because when I left the other day, I was bringing home a pot that has a ponytail palm in it to repot because uh, it just wasn't thriving. And Lisa told me that they like smaller pots because they kind of like to get root bound, but not really. Anyway, I had, I had my arms full is all I'm saying. So I didn't bring my bucket, which I usually leave it on Tuesday anyway, because I'm off on Wednesday. And that way I'm not just bringing it home to turn around and carry it back, you know? Well, I need to quit doing that in the winter because Honestly, you never know from one day to the next what our weather's going to be. It could be 60 
and sunny or it could be 30 and frozen. Now, the good thing about our 30 and frozen is it usually doesn't last long because in a few days it'll be back up to 60 and sunny. So anyway, after much deliberation last night, I decided to get in the car and drive over here. It was about 8.30 to get my work bucket because I told Tommy, it's not a bucket. It's a like a little filing cart type box on wheels. I just call it my work bucket. I told Tommy, I said, well, if I don't go get it, it'll snow, it'll freeze, it'll, you know, it'll be catastrophic. <laughs> but if I do go get it, then it'll be clear. That's my logic with it. And it's clear. So see, my logic worked. <laughs> because it kept saying it was going to rain last night. It was going to start at 7, and then it was going to start at 8, and then it was going to start at 9. Well, the temperature kept dropping and it was gonna be below freezing shortly after midnight. After midnight, we gonna let it all hang out. So I drove over here and I went ahead and brought the pot, uh, my ponytail palm that I repotted and left it at the office so I didn't have to worry with it and my work bucket this morning to get them out of the car. Because I only want to make one trip <laughs> all the way across the parking lot. I mean, goodness gracious, it's not that far. <laughs> okay, and finally, to my dream. I had the absolute weirdest dream. I don't know who I was with. I don't know where we were. But I was having a dream. I guess we were at some sort of church function or something like that. I don't know. And whoever I was with started speaking in tongues. I don't, I've never, I don't know. Uh, my grandmother, my mama, who was very, you know, as I've said, strict and hardcore Baptist and all that stuff, never spoke in tongues and my mom didn't of course and but my mom and my mom told me if you speak in tongues you have to be able to translate it and <laughs> i don't know so anyway in my dream this person was speaking in tongues and it was loud and it was a whole lot of holla, 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 holla. i don't know what they were saying and I just kept looking at him thinking, can you translate that? <laughs> this is in my dream, right? Can you translate that? Because Momo said you need to be able to translate that. Well, I woke up and my, I play videos while I sleep. You know, it's some sort of video and I'm actually early. <laughs> um, so when that finishes, it just goes to the next one and the next one. Well, it was on some sort of church channel. I don't know, on Facebook. And they were speaking in tongues and shouting and had the tambourines and the whole sh shouting and all that stuff. So I guess that was impeding my dream. Impeding? I don't think that's the right word, Tracy. You impede the flow of traffic. It was, it was in my dream. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Nah. I guess all that talk about the Pentecostals that came into my head. I don't know. Because I know they do speak in tongues. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of that. So I think that's all I wanted to tell y'all. So, I'm going to say bye for now because I don't know how much video I've got. And I'll be back. Okay? Okay. Well, here we are at the end of the day. We've got... Gracie in one corner and Penny on the other corner and Mama's wedged in the middle. And can I just ask a question? Is anybody else tired of listening to the Loom commercials? Can I get an amen? I mean, it was just on the internet and now it's on my TV. I'm about sick of her talking about where, she, where all she puts her Loom deodorant. Anyway. <laughs> well... I guess that'll be it for this one. 
Yeah, because it's the end of the day and I'm home and all that good stuff. And yeah, so I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope it's coming back soon because these people will be crazy. And I, yeah, will see you tomorrow. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I post every day. Yeah, I do. I post every day, don't I? They all got tickled at how you attacked me yesterday. Yeah, say I can be sweet. Uh-uh. Yeah, say I can be sweet. And she just bit me. <laughs> she never draws blood. Well, I'm not going to say she never has. It's just I have learned to not draw back too quickly because that's when you usually will end up with a cut because that tooth, you know, that tooth, that very sharp tooth. And I used to tell my mama, don't jerk away from her. <laughs> and my mom, <laughs> she couldn't stand it. She couldn't stand it. She would always jerk back. She don't have front claws. So my mama would just jerk back from her. And I was like, mama, she don't even have claws on that foot. She's not going to hurt you. Now, if she tries to bite you, that's going to hurt. But that paw ain't going to do a daggum thing except feel like a little cotton ball hitting the top of your hand. When that cotton ball get rotten, you can't pick very much cotton. All right, well, anyway, that's enough of that. And I will talk to you later. I've already said goodbye, so goodbye. Goodbye.